Today, we're going to be talking about a math teacher who made inappropriate sexual and racially charged comments towards his students, and he still has his job. Recently in the news, there's been a math teacher at Lake Worth High School that has done some racially charged things. But before we get into that, we're going to take a look at his past and see what exactly he has done following up to this moment. According to this news article, in 2018, he was formally reprimanded and placed on two years of probation by the Florida Department of Education after Broward County students reported that he made inappropriate and sometimes sexual comments about female students and what they were wearing. Carrie Altschiller has been a teacher since 2013. He's taught high schools in Broward County before moving to Avant Garde Academy in Hollywood and then to Somerset Academy at Charter Schools in Pembroke Pines, Florida. But in 2017, he was investigated for some sexual comments he made towards students. And it was sometimes sexual comments about what they were wearing, how they looked. And obviously this caused the students to not go to that classroom. They avoided it and rightfully so. One student also said he commented on their athletic and academic skills as well as their mother's appearance. The students who reported the incident said Altschiller made them feel angry and embarrassed. And rightfully so. I mean, you're in a high school, you're what, 17? You're a young lady and you have your coach or your teacher hitting on you. Why is that happening? That should not be happening in school. In schools, we need leaders. We need people that can be role models. We need people that are going to be there to guide us and help us and make us feel safe so we can learn and grow as people. Not any of this bullcrap that's going on. Quoted here, it says, This panel, which includes fellow educators, believes that as a teacher, you are required to exercise a measure of leadership beyond reproach. Education Practices Commission Proceeding Officer Christina Basso wrote in a letter to Altschiller, By your actions, you have lessened the reputation of all who practice our profession and have diminished your position as an educational leader. The profession cannot condone your actions, nor can the public who employ us. She wrote, he was fined $750. So the penalty for a uh, sexual predator in our schools is $750. It's a no wonder why there's been so many of them appearing more and more lately. This should freak you out because if he is hitting on underage girls at a high school and only getting fined find $750, where's the justice? Fast forward three years to 2020. This is when he started working at Lake Worth High School. How he got another job? I have no clue. No clue at all. I don't know how he got another job. <laughs> but apparently this incident wasn't on his file when he went to apply for the job. Is this a cop out? Are they making this up? Who knows? But this is what it says in the article. His personnel file shows he reported his prior discipline to the district when he applied for the job. But Basso's letter does not appear in his file, and his file does not include any details about the discipline or the complaints that led to the state's investigation. So let's recap. He is supposed to be a role model at this school. He's supposed to be helping these children. He's supposed to be paving the way for the next generation. But instead, he is hitting on underage women at this school, making them feel uncomfortable, making them not want to go to school or his class, they don't even feel comfortable enough to probably even focus. I don't think I could focus, let alone be comfortable or feel safe if I was under the same building as someone that I knew was a sexual predator and no one around me was doing anything. So he gets his new job at Lake Worth High School and guess what role he fills. While he's worked at the school, Altschiller has been the head coach of the varsity girls flag football and is on the coaching staff of the boys team. It's crazy to me that he got a job as a varsity girls football coach. How does something like this slip through the cracks? It's crazy that these stories keep popping up. If you didn't know, I covered a story like this before about a teacher in Oregon, and this was a similar circumstance. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have the link down in the description. So you telling me this guy got caught being a sexual predator. They fine him $750. Two years later, he goes, works, he goes and works at a different high school and he gets his fucking dream job as a varsity girls flag football coach this is like a predator's dream bro but he couldn't contain himself he had something in him that just made him want to show the world what kind of piece of crap he really is and what did he do he was teaching a class and he displayed three students photos on the classroom board with the titles extra cream medium roast and dark roast above their heads according to two sources who were inside the classroom at the time first of all why 
why did he even do that? I don't understand. What, is he trying to teach them the fucking what flavors he thinks the skin colors of people are? And even in that, there's no lesson to be learned there except that he's racist. <laughs> He's like exposing himself. It's funny how racist people are. They will fucking let you know real quick that they are racist. And this guy couldn't even contain it at his, at his school. What did the school do, you may ask? In an email to parents, Principal Elena Villiana, they sent an email out apologizing for the disturbing situation involving Alchiller. Alchiller has been reassigned to a job in the district where he does not have contact with students. Personally, I don't think this guy should have a job. He shouldn't be anywhere in the schools. He shouldn't be around the schools, near the schools, near students, anything. They should have got his ass at the first school. Now, they did give him two years probation on top of the $750 fine, but to me, I don't think that's enough. And the fact that they let him go back and teach in schools blows my mind. Anyways, this is another story about our fucked up school systems and how they let teachers like this work in them. And I hope you're happy for paying for it. <laughs> That's a joke. You should be mad. That's the end of the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Shout out to our newest Patreon, Free Spirit Katie, putting us at 7 out of 20 Patreons. We have a goal of 20. So if you guys want to head on over there to become a Patreon, I'll have the link in the description down below. Thank you, guys. You're a love, love criminal. I'm